everything is going wireless nowadays and so are the headphones so in this video i will try to compare the two major competitors inside the 2000 rupee price bracket and that would be the boat rocker 600 and the blue dive t2 plus so let's get straight into the review So before starting with the review, many of you guys asked me to submit an entry for the tech creator hunt. I have submitted the entry and if you guys want to see, you can go up to my Instagram account and watch it there because they didn't allow it to make public on YouTube. So that's why I've been really disappointed by the headphone and earphone reviews done by YouTubers because, because they don't portray an accurate description of how the headphone or earphone actually is. And that could be because they only tested with like a simple set of music or they are biased towards some kind of music so just for an example i bought these audio technica clr 100 by watching reviews on youtube so if you're watching this video on the audio technica clr 100 you will not be able to differentiate between this and this because these headphones have almost no bass in them and not many people who review these headphones will tell you about that so we'll jump on to the audio quality straight away when it comes to volume, the Blue Diode T2 Plus is like really, really loud. I've never used any headphones louder than the Blue Diode T2 ones, but they can also tend to distort a bit on the higher volumes. But for the most part, the volume is quite good. The volume on the Boat Rockers is not as loud as the Blue Diode ones, but it is also decently loud. One thing to note in common between these two, when you connect any of these using an aux cable to your mobile or your computer, the volume and the audio quality will decrease a bit and i think that's common with most wireless headphones so i'll try to compare the mids highs and lows of these two headphones the highs are not that clear on the blue diode t2s and they kind of mix with the mid tones a lot on the boat rockers the highs are not very overpowering but they're not underpowering at the same time they are very natural sounding the mids are good on both of these but i feel that on the blue diode ones they kind of mix with the lows and highs on the boat rockers, the mids are very natural just like the highs and lows and they don't tend to mix with each other. So if you're using your headphones to listen to instrumental music or jazz, you have to go for the boat rockers because I have to say instrumental music doesn't sound good at all on the blue dive ones. But when you talk about lows or bass heavy music, the blue dive ones have absolutely killer loud bass that will definitely vibrate your ears. The bass is loud and overpowering but it's not segregated and can feel a bit muddy. On the Boat Rockers one also, the bass is very good but it's not as overpowering as on the Blue Dive ones. So if you're going for rap music or bass heavy music, considering only the audio, the Blue Dive ones should be the first choice. However, if you listen to all kinds of music and want some natural highs and mids in the audio, or you are doing some kind of sound production work, then you should definitely go for the Boat Rockers. So if I want to sum it up, the Blue Dio ones have a very bass heavy, punchy feel to it. And on the other hand, you have a very soothing and natural experience on the Boat Rockers. So I have to give props for both of the companies for being very realistic with the battery because it says 8 hours on the cover on the Boat Rockers one and it actually is 8 hours while using it. It generally lasts me around 3 to 4 days on an average use. On the other hand, the Blue Dio ones have an insane battery life. It clocks up to 40 hours on a full charge. You can easily go 2 weeks without charging these. So before we jump onto the build quality and comfort of these headphones, you can click on the subscribe button because I keep making content like this. If you guys have ever used headphones, you would know that the build quality and comfort of headphones is very important. And if you can't wear headphones for more than half an hour, the headphones are quite useless. The build quality on the Blue Dio ones feels very cheap. It's all plastic and the material used is also not of very good quality. When you touch or try to twist the headband at the top, you can feel that it is very cheap quality plastic and it has some kind of a cardboard or very cheap quality plastic material covering it up. Also, it has big turbine written on the headband and you seriously have a lot of branding on these headphones. So when you get to the weight, in spite of being plastic, they are a bit heavy, but they're not too heavy and I would any day prefer 40 hours of battery life over a little bit of weight. However, the material used on the ear cups and uh, the one on the headband is synthetic and it's not very comfortable. And on the website it says that the headphones are over the ear and most people feel that these are on-ear headphones, 
but i'm having medium sizes and they kind of fit in between and that's the worst fit that you can have and the headphones don't cover your full ear and they kind of sit at the edge of your ear that is very uncomfortable also your ears start touching the material inside the foam that is also synthetic and is not pleasing at all i'll be quite honest the audio quality is quite good but i can't wear these headphones for long the buttons however are quite good and you can easily make out between the volume buttons and the buttons to change music you also get some nifty features with this headphone like you can connect another headphone to the 3.5 mm jack when these headphones are connected via bluetooth when it comes to comfort the boot rockers are like a different spectrum as compared to the blue dye ones because they are way comfortable and the quality of material used is also quite good these have like a flat style on the ear build the material used on the cushions and the headband is synthetic but is quite comfortable these are also very light so sometimes you won't even feel that they are on your ears the quality of materials used on the boot rockers are way better they they feel soft to use but because of the metal and the good quality plastic they also feel sturdy in the hand as well the buttons are also quite intuitive and you have them on the right side the boot rockers one feel decently premium for the price i don't know how many of you guys might be using the mic on these ones but i have to say that the mic on the blue dye ones is good but is not as good as the one on the boot rockers the connectivity on both of these is quite good and they have about 7 meters to 8 meters of range so the best buy links will be in the description box below and let me know if you like these kind of review videos or not by answering the poll or commenting down below and if you're new to the channel you can subscribe to the channel and you can also watch some previous videos of mine